Good morning. How could it be that Christians would despise prophecies? Well, today we're at 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 20, and this is the very counsel that Paul has for us here. It says this quite simply, do not despise prophecies. Do not despise prophecies. So, how is it that Christians can despise prophecies? Well, there's two ways. There's basically two ways. One way might, might surprise you. Uh, one way that we might despise prophecies is to have a disregard for the Bible. I mean, after all, these are inspired writings, and many times people will say, oh, I'm a New Testament Christian, but you find out that's just a very small subset of the New Testament that they really hold to. So they're, they're not New Testament Christians in the fact that they're leaving behind many other New Testament scriptures. So uh, sometimes they want to say, well, I'm a New Testament Christian, and then they throw out the three-fourths or more of the Bible, the Old Testament. So, but you know what? The New Testament would be a lot skinnier if it didn't have the Old Testament. If you take what Paul says in the book of Romans, and you start stripping out the quotations from the book, the Older Testament books, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to have a really thin book of Romans, which is so important and so, so wonderful. In fact, who are the two uh, primary, the primary examples that Paul uses for righteousness by faith? Habakkuk, Old Testament, and Abraham, Old Testament. Again, that time it's the book of Genesis. Take those away, and we lose the, the primary, the two foremost primary illustrations that Paul gives us for righteousness by faith. I don't want to do that. Do you want to do that? Well, what about Jesus, who's quoting often from the book of Genesis? So we don't want to thin the Gospels out by saying, okay, Jesus, you can't take those. So we need to not despise the prophecies that are in the Bible. Sometimes people say, well, there's parts of the Bible we just can't understand. We can't understand the book of Revelation. We can't understand some of these prophecies. Well, some of the prophecies are a bit difficult, but they're given to us because he wants us to understand them. So then there's another way we can despise prophecies, and that would be to despise a contemporary prophecy. You know what? There's contemporary prophecies? Yeah, this might be a little bit more controversial. And I think that really, you know, in the Bible, we have pretty much the main stuff that we need. So, uh, but, but still, hold on and listen to this. If you lived in the time of Jesus, and John the Baptist came preaching, and he said, look, Jesus is the Messiah. Did John the Baptist have any Old Testament books? Did John the Baptist have any New Testament books? Did, what, where did John the Baptist's spiritual authority come from? Say, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Bible-believing uh, person, so I'm not going to listen to John the Baptist, and so I know that Jesus can't be the Messiah. That would have been a bad move. John was a contemporary prophet. His writings weren't in the Bible. There was no Bible at that time. So, what we need to do is we need to let God's prophets have the authority that they have. So, how would we know that John's prophecies were true? If you lived in the time of Jesus, how would you test it? They have to be in harmony with all the prophecies that have gone before. So, they have to be in harmony with the Old Testament scriptures. We need to look and see if there's, if there's any claim of contemporary prophecy, we need to measure it against the Bible that God has given us. And that way we can know if we're on the right path there. We need to test the prophets, and we'll be talking about testing things and holding on to what's good coming up. Let's, by the way, pause and pray. Dear Father in heaven, we have a problem. Some, some of us Christians have been despising the prophecies. Lord, help us to love the Bible. Help us to respect you and the prophecies you give. Help us to uh, go ahead and submit to the authority that you give us in your prophetic writers. So, Lord, bless us as we study the Bible. We've got a long ways to go in being faithful to the Bible. So, Lord, help us right there. Help us right now to find uh, out what your truths are and to embrace those and live by them. And, Lord, you'll lead us on step by step. So, Lord, thank you for the Bible. It is the core. It is the acid test. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Very important that we do not despise prophecies. They're given for reasons. Very important. Hey, have a wonderful day being a follower of the Lord Jesus. Make sure you're in the Bible, in the Word, every day, and you'll be blessed. God be with you.